Y'all warmly welcome to Joshua Okwe online maths channel. In this channel, we make mathematics very easy for everyone. And please, for you to benefit from our today class, I encourage you to exercise patience and watch this video from beginning to the end. In our class today, we will be discussing number system. Another number system we'll be talking about was basis. So what is the fundamentals of base? When you hear base, what comes to your mind? How do we carry out operations regarding bases? And how will you identify that, oh, this question is wrong or this question is right? You can actually do this if you can try as much as you can to hold this in your hand and hold it firmly. That when you are carrying out operation in question in base two, two, must not appear in any of the questions, neither in the answer. The numbers that are allowed to be there are words, zeros, and one. And if you're operating in base four, the numbers are allowed are zero, one, three, zero, one, two, and three. And if it's in base A, the numbers that you can see there are zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, if you are working in base eight. So please bear that in your mind as we carry out some operations However, the basic ones, the basic questions that you see or we start under number base is usually convert from a number in base 10 to other bases or convert a number in another base back to base 10. I'll be showing us how we can easily carry out that operation in no time. On our board here, we have two questions. The first one says that convert 698 in base 10 to base 4. And another one, convert 3120 in base 5 to base 10. So the very first one, we are converting from base 10 to base 4. So I used to tell my pupils that whenever you are carrying this operation, you don't want to be confused. Just remember that when you are converting a number from base 10 to other base, you go vertical. You go vertical. What do I mean by that? Join me as I will answer this question now. Question number 2 now is so the right solution. Number question number one. So we're solving this. So I see you go what vertical. This is what I mean by vertical. You draw your vertical line, you write six, nine, eight. Now you put your you put your four, put your four here. So you ask yourself, how many four do you have in six? Is what is one remainder two. How many four do you have in twenty-nine? Is what is seven. Because 4 times 7 is 28. So remain that 1. You put the 1 there. How many 4 do you have in 18? Is 4. Remain that 2. 4 again. How many 4 do you have in, in 1? Is 0. So you take 1 and 7. That is 17. How many 4 do you have in 17? Is what? 4. Remain that 1. How many 4 do you have in 14? It becomes 14. How many 4 do you have in 14? That is what? Is 3. Remain that 2. 4 can go again. How many 4 do you have in 4? 1. How many 4 do you have in 3? Is 0. Remainder 3. 4 can go again. How many 4 do you have in 10? We have um, 2. Remainder 2. 2 we go again. How many 4 do you have in 2? Hmm. Is 0. Remainder 2. So we do this. You put your arrow. We start from the bottom up. So it has to therefore 698 in base 10 is equal to 22322. 22322 two, 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 two in base 4. And that is the answer to what to the first question there. So please, anytime you are converting number from base 10 to any base, let it be base 7, let it be base 8, let it be base 9, let it be ba whatever base it is, just go or just go vertical like this. Do it like this. I can assure you, you will get the correct answer. Now we have the second one too. We have the second one too. Say so this time convert 3120 in base 5 to what to base 10. It's the simple too, very simple. How do we carry out this operation? This time, you remember I said that the key to converting from base 10 to other base is what is vertical. Now, when we are converting from other base now to base 10, 
what we now do we go what we go horizontal what do i mean by that i'll be showing us two methods on how we can carry out this operation the first one let's go now three one two zero we are converting in this five now so you do this do not say you write zero we'll start from your side to number them zero one two three that is the power okay in this one so we go now let's we'll say three times five raised to the power of what three is raised to the power of what is three raised to the power of three right plus again one times five raised to the power of what two plus again five times oh sorry you take two two times five raised to the power of what is the power of two here one plus zero times five raised to the power of zero so this is what three times five raised to the power of three means five times five times five okay five times five is 25 25 times five is one two five plus one times five squared means five times five that is what 25 plus um, 2 times 5 raised to the power of 1 is what is 5 plus 0 times 5 raised to the power of 0. Any number raised to the power of 0 is 1. Okay, so if I say Joshua raised to the power of 0, the answer is what is 1. Any number, anything at raised to the power of 0 is what is 1. So this is now what? 3 times 125 is what? We do this. Let's do it together. Okay. So this is 3 times 5 is what is 15. You write down 5, carry 1. 3 times 2 is what is 6, plus the 1 is 7. 3 times 1 is what is 3, okay? Plus 1 times 25 is 25, plus 2 times 5 is what is 10. 0 times 1, anything multiplied by 0 is what is 0. So we'll add this together. So this is what, 35. So 35, 375 plus 35 will give us what? 410. This is 410 in this, in this 10. So this is how you carry out the operation going what? In a horizontal method, in horizontal method. Now we have another method again we can use to answer this. So I'm going to show all the two methods. You choose any one that is convenient for you. You still arrive at the same answer. So you can use, you can do it like this, or, now let's go. Now you have three, I'm going to space them. You know the reason why I'm spacing them now. Is in base what? In base five. So look at what I'm going to do. I will say, I will say five times three. Are you following now? Five times three. This five, there is base. Five times three, okay? Plus this one. Are you following? Plus this one. I'm bringing that this one now. So 5 times 3 plus this one. That will give me what? 15 plus 1. That is equals to what? 16. Do you get that now? So this one, 5 times 3 is 15. 15 plus the number, this one here, is what? Is 16. What do I do again? I will multiply it again by what? By 5 again. 6 times 5 times 6 is what is 30. You write down what you write down your your 0 carry what 3. 5 times 1 is what is 5 plus 3. That is what is 8. That it was 80. Now what do we do? This 2 now we will add it again. Plus 2. And that will give us what? And that will give us what 80. That is equals to what? 82. Are you following? That is equals to what? 82. What do you do again to it? The same way again, we follow the same pattern again. We're going to multiply it again now by what? By 5. So multiply. 5 times 2 is what? Is 10. Write down 0, carry 1. 5 times 8 is what? Is 40 plus 1. That gives us what? 41. So plus what? Plus the last 0 here. So giving us what? 410 plus 0 gives us what? 410 in this. 10, which is the same thing as our answer there. So this is the two method you can use to answer any of these questions. 
I hope this is not confusing to you. It obeys the same, the same rule here. What I did here is the same thing as this. So if you don't want to do it like this, you can do it like this. Okay? It's just like saying, like starting by saying three times five. Okay? Three times five plus one. Are you following now? Giving us sixteen. We'll repeat the same thing again. Sixteen times five plus two. Giving us eighty-two. Eighty-two times five plus zero. And then we'll arrive at our answer. So these are the two methods you can use to do or to change or convert any number in base 5 to what? To base 10. You can apply any of these and I can assure you, you get your answer. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please, if you do, don't forget to do what? To click on the subscribe button. Subscribe to our channel so that anytime we upload new videos like this, you need to get a notification on that. And don't forget to share this video with your friends. And don't forget to drop your comment in the comment section. Thank you so much for joining us today. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye.